part two. So we've gotten about this far. We got the nasty head off, which is grand. But the videos that I saw said you shuck these little guys. I don't know how I feel about shucking them when there's still some nasty nasty in there. So I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna attempt to kind of slice down the back here. And as you can see, when the head was removed, these hands got a bit steadier. They sure did. I'm sorry. They are the. There is something about a bull pout that just catfish are nasty, nasty looking animals, and I am a cat lover. Very much. You heard me talking to my little kitty Paisley in the last video. I just there is something about. A catfish. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'll love them each individually. Put them together. Into the sinks. So. I guess what we're going to do is keep trying to pull down here. On the skin, which is kind of shucking off. It's not corn. You don't shuck a fish. But that's what I found, and you know, YouTube knows more than I do, so. Yuckiness out so it doesn't taint the meat. That's like my biggest concern with catfish, is they're such bottom dwellers. They have all this like nastiness. I just, I, I don't, mm -mm. Mm -mm, no, thank you. My friend Katie that I actually went fishing with today said to soak them in milk, which is exactly what I plan on doing with this guy. And I think we've gotten to the very bottom here, which is good. We got pretty much everything out. It's in this little bag here. It's nasty. I'm going to leave it there. But as you can see, it's a little bit more hollow here. Okay. And I'm actually feeling better about this project already. So, let's try this. All right. So what we want to continue doing is literally peeling it down and off because we want to just have a nice filet of fish. But it kind of helped when I went through earlier and started scoring. Not really scoring, kind of slicing the back. So as much as I really didn't want to, I think I'm actually... Just slice in here. I do not want the skin. That is one thing, as I've seen a lot of videos where they cook skin on. Nope. I want to remove it because it, ugh. So I'm actually going to pull down here. I might end up pulling off little fillets. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get to the bottom of this, but I should just be able to and I'm just using a little multi-tool. Here, I got this guy from like Dick's or Walmart. So I guess it probably would have been smarter to use a more suitable tool, a larger guy, but let's see, just it's coming off rather easily, but I'm not gonna pull up this part right now. I'm gonna go up the seams here. And there I can see that filet kind of starting to form. So I think we are ultimately going to end up pulling these off. This is my first time, so critique me as hard as you want, don't worry. I'm also kind of coming down off of a little bit of an anxiety. Woo! 
move from that first one because, oh, <laughs> but I just want to take this up right here, kind of a darker piece of meat I was expecting. But I mean, they are body wellers, so they do kind of filter all of that dirt and yuckiness. So that's why, again, like Katie mentioned, we're going to soak it in milk. Try and get that nastiness out. I will be honest, it kind of smells muddy. Which, again, makes sense. They're bottom dwellers, but I've never had fish smell like that before. It's, it's weird. So what I'm trying to do now is kind of cut in here. As you can hear the crunching, I'm as close to the bone as I can be without getting any actual little pieces in there because I just want this little filet. You have to be careful with fish bones. Well, any bones really, but fish bones are teeny. And they're easy to miss. Not always. Are you kidding? This fish has parasites. Like a lot of them. I don't know if you can probably not see, but those little speckles. Well, that's disappointing. But also good to know because don't eat fish with parasites, obviously. I'm not going to continue filleting this fish because it cannot be eaten. I'm actually just going to take this one and the other one out to the garbage. Unfortunately, I hate to be wasteful but it's not safe to eat meat like that. Oh my God. But, okay, well, I'm going to thoroughly disinfect my entire house and that's it. Well, thanks guys. <laughs>